Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. We are back here in the courtyard once again and we are primarily here to try and find this secret chamber which has been so heavily um, referenced. Um, so we know that if we go to the objectives, the mission clues, Yes, the Campbell's secret room is hidden behind a statue of Benjamin Holger. Now, to be fair, I don't think that is a statue of Benjamin Holger, because I imagine that's probably a statue of Campbell himself, or potentially the Lord of Regents. So I think we're probably looking for something else. Um, exactly what we're looking for, I don't know. There's a rune upstairs and there is a rune downstairs. I'm pretty sure the rune downstairs is in said secret chamber. So we need to get to that somehow. Uh, let's take that spiritual remedy. I am kind of tempted. To maybe think about going back to the kennels. To be fair, we didn't really look too much into the kennels. Like, we kind of dabbled. And also, aha, 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 this is the, this is the other side of the kennels, there's the eye, bada bada boom, and would you look at that, we've got Campbell's secret chamber, the Fugue Fest, uh, I think we have already read that, haven't we, yep, let's just turn that off, it's a bit haunting. For now, empty bottle. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I think we did see people looking, looking to uh, how to get in here, didn't we? The isometry of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Don't know how Corvo's carrying that around, but I digress. Also got to sleep dart, sleep dart, my girls. Campbell, I'm not sure how my predecessor operated, but from now on, if one of my girls tries to blackmail you, send her back to me at the Golden Cast instead of concocting some plan on your own. I've had to replace three girls in as many months, and you can imagine the business of carnal pleasure isn't booming in this plague-stricken hole you call a city. <laughs> yeah. Not wrong. Curse those fools in Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hi, Remo. As he asks us to call him now, he seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample What is this safe place? Inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. Interesting. Guess we're just going to have to smash this in. Field deco plates, pistol, already got them out bullets. Let's in the white cliff. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that will drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd for the foggy grey waste of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with uh, with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way and to those who chose choose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbours filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. And I will take the rune. Uh, okay, so how, how many runes do we currently have? We have two runes to use so we can uh, get some one of these three by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, just those three. It's, oh, can I, it, it costs eight runes to bend time again. Completely stops time for a shorter duration. That's good. So, uh, jump height is increasing, fall damage is reduced. That could be good. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. See? See, the, the, the one thing I want to know about that is would um, would getting Shadow Kill prevent the, prevent, the rat, prevent the Rat Plague from spreading? Would that make it easier to kill people? Because then if they're not aware of us and we kill them and if their body disintegrates into ash, they can't be eaten and turned into um, you know, so they can't contribute to the rat plague. 
That's my logic anyway, but I tell you what, I will get agility. Since uh, we can we can hold it to to jump higher. Oh that is yeah, there's like a boost jump there, isn't it? That's very nice. Uh plenty of coins. If we, if we just whack dark vision on for a second, we can see everything we can pick up. I think we've gotten everything in here for now, though. Okay, good stuff. Right, so yeah, I don't think we do actually We do actually need to go into the kennels. We can kind of avoid that for now. Um, so we'll go up the main hall. I think we just need to go, go upstairs to the second room now. So let's just re uh, remind ourselves of our objectives. We need to find uh, Campbell and Kerno in the Harvester's meeting chamber. Uh, we need to spare Captain Kerno. Uh, and we need to try and rend render High Overseer Campbell unconscious. Um, because, well, if we want to pursue the non-lethal the non um, method, which I think we do. Because we want to try and brand the High Overseer Campbell, don't we? If possible. And I think we can do that. I believe we can. See, when you look in here, there's no one actually in there right now. Wait for Campbell and Colonel to enter the meeting chamber. Switch poison the Campbell side. Oh, spill the glasses. There we go. My men are searching district by yeah. district. <laughs> we don't need to uh, we don't need to poison because well the poison was was meant to be used for Kerno. That was that was Campbell's that was Campbell's idea to to poison Kerno. But because we've broken both the glasses, they shouldn't be able to poison him now. Callista's a resourceful one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Pretty sure if we hide under here they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to see us. I hope so anyway. The servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained. So that's Campbell, that's Kerno. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Take the blackmail journal to my overseer, Campbell. What the fuck? What? Um. I'm so confused right now. Oh well, uh, Kerno has escaped. <laughs> he absolutely pegged it for some reason. I don't know. I don't know exactly what. Yeah, I don't know exactly what triggered him to go absolutely pegging it, but okay. So we've got the blackmail journal. Can we? Can we? Can we read the journal? Is that is that a thing we can do? We need to inform Callista about the uh, fact that we've saved him as well. Callista's back at the back of the pub as well, I do believe. Uh, c yeah, can we? So I don't know if that's like, if this is actually a thing you can read or not. It probably isn't. Our mission items. Here we go. A black book containing secrets of a key political figures that high overseer can be used to secure his prominent status. Right, okay. Aha! So Campbell's gone into a secret chamber now because, well, for one reason or another. And then if we sneak behind him, render Campbell unconscious. Take Campbell's unconscious body to the chair in the interrogation room. Right, we can do that. 
assuming that no one pops up anyway. We need to we need to be careful because if we bump into any of the guards while carrying Campbell's body, we're gonna have a big problem. No one no one no one can be seen for now. Is that an enemy? I don't know if that was an enemy or not. I think the majority of the guards seem to be knocked down now. We seem to have done a pretty good number on the building. Oh, there was a there was a guard across there. But I think he's gone back downstairs. So we've just got to make our way very calmly and patiently to the interrogation room. Just in here. Pop him in the chair. There we go. Use the Heretics brand on High Abbasir Campbell. Right. There. Oh, that's pain. That is pain. Target neutralized. Campbell. <laughs> Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. Done and dusted. Meet Samuel the Boatman in the Overseer Backyard. So we just need one more rune as well before we before we leave this place. And then we and then we need to uh, then we need to go to the backyard, don't we? So we'll go and grab said rune, make sure we have gotten all the runes that we can get from from this area. Ah, it's up there. Didn't even realize it was up there. Fine. Seven out of seven runes found. There's a ca there's a car just casually, casually knocking around over there. They put yeah, they're just regular bolts. That's fine. need to find like a window ideally or, or this staircase over here will do oh my god I think we should be okay here I'll, I'll take this guy out why not get rid of him method. Slightly wary of, of going too fast just in case someone is still around, but I think we're okay. So yeah, so we're going back to the backyard, which we have still, which we have cleared pretty well as far as I can remember. But obviously we don't want to get too cocky. Should be able to get to the port pretty, pretty safely. I would say. Here we go. So I'm guessing just down this chain will be a beach. Yeah. Is that you? Hey, there, there, there's the man. Grab the chain. Just need to slowly descend this chain down here. So these sandbags and just like that it's Samuel I'm here I'm here Samuel from the way I hear it Campbell lived a pretty posh life maybe it's not my place to say 
but men of the faith should live like barons. You ready to go? Let me just I'll be here. let me just check to make sure that we have done everything here. Yep. Yeah, Callista is Callista is definitely back at the pub, is um, is uh, isn't she? So yeah, otherwise I'm pretty sure we would have an objective marker for uh, for her. But I, I, I do like it. There's a little ink. There's a little bit of me that 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 says she was in the t city somewhere. But I'm fairly sure she was at the pub. Right, so let's go back. Okay, let's go. I think that was a job well done. To be honest, like it it, it wasn't the smoothest. Um, we've ever had, but if you look at that, we got seven out of seven runes, four out of five bone charms. Could have been better, um, but I, I don't, I don't know which uh, where the bone charm was that we didn't pick up. To be honest with you, I, th I thought we were, we were quite careful. But hey ho, so we found one, one out of one, uh, one out of one of the outside of shrines, one out of the one of the Sokolov paintings, and um, we got a good portion of the coins as well. So. Eh. We only killed two hostiles. Uh, we still have a low chaos total. We helped Granny infect the Ball Street gang, which might not have been the best move in terms of our chaos, but here we rescued Gif the, Sca Griff the Scavenger, Brandon Campbell as a heretic, and we saved Captain Kerno. So we'll continue back to the Hound Pits and revel in our uh, win. So Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseers Journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, and most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Yeah, that's the key one. We need to know where we need to know where Emily is. Go and just rescue her. Admiral Hadlock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Yeah, that, I think that I think that's Callista on the dock there. If memory serves. Take the mask off. Mission clues updated. High Overseer, High Overseer Campbell has been removed from power and the Loyalist ally Overseer Martin has been freed. So pretty much an ideal, um, an ideal resolution to that whole situation. Alright, it's Callista. Good news. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's one the right of the few reasons, overseas that isn't corrupt. But I wanted corrupt. to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom. At least we hope so, anyway. Hundred, hundred coins. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay, good stuff. So the loyalists are just there in the courtyard there. If this is going to work. We have to she's like moonwalking briefly there. The Admiral was right in recruiting you. Joplin. Can I be of service to you? Uh, ideally. Let's see what new gear upgrades you've got, please. So, the blueprints you brought to Pierre unlock these upgrades. Mask optics 2 and improved armor. Uh, we can buy some more sleep bolts. We might as well. We we do make good use of those. Got a crossbow, crossbow range, crossbow reload, sleep darts, sedative effect is immediate even in combat, could be good. Uh, what else have we got? Equipment upgrades, mask optics, improved armor, ball capacity, um, bone charm capacity, that could be nice, spring razor. If we do combat sleep dart, and we'll do improved armor, might as well, and we'll do more champ capacity. I think we can be pretty happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that, to be honest. So, yeah, bone charms, we may as well put the healthy appetite on. Not the best one in the world, in all honesty, but I'm not mad. Okay. My, there is something to you, is Right. It? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope that the we tools did. I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. <laughs> Give yourself a pat on the back, Piero. You did good. Right. On that note, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Next episode, we shall go and speak to the Loyalists and see what our next course of action is to try and uh, 
proceed our plot in getting uh, in getting Emily back and hopefully getting her back on the throne too. So, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you on the next episode of Dishonored. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.